A meaningful game on Sunday, pairing the Good News Bears against the Villains. Villains, who, of course, as we all know, added Tony Hu to the tussle, showed up without T. Hu as he was down in D.C. doing heroics at the IPB tournament. Word was he hit the buzzer beater in the championship game to help the New York Fury to win the chip. Tony was doing work down in D.C., but that did the Villains no good on Sunday as they came up short again. 46 to 35, thus securing them for a single elimination slot in the playoffs as they dropped to 1 and 5. Good news Bears, who were led by Stan the Man Again Thomas and brother PT Prince T, took the win, meaning it was their second in their last three to bump their record up to 2 and 4, keeping Slim Hopes alive of finishing at 500 for the double E status. The game. Got off slowly, painfully so for the villains who could only muster 2 of 11 from the floor in the first quarter and by half made only 4 of their 24 attempts. To say that Tony was sorely missed would be the understatement of this young year. But for good news, they felt no sorrows for their under, underhanded villains as they raced out to a 22-9 lead at intermission and check this out. Leading up into that break, Stan found his brother Prince three consecutive times on feeds to the basket as Prince scored six in the final minutes of the second quarter and putting their team up by that score 22-9. to nine. So Stan Thomas doing work, Prince Thomas doing work. It was the TT boys all over the place. Finally, in the back half, the villains found a little lip, little life as Charlie hit a jumper to cut the deficit to 10 with 4.45 left in the fourth quarter. But really, by then, it was all she wrote as Stan was just passing way too well. For the game, he finished with 16 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists, 4 steals, and oh yeah, seven turnovers. But that is talking about flirting with a quintuple nickel to the nth degree. Bro PT finished with 15 and 9 just to carry him short of the double double. And they had great help from guys like Richard Lee, who was solid in effort with nine points and four boards. And Victor Suh, who came off the bench to score four points and grab six big rebounds. Wayne Van. Chipped in with three dimes and three steals as he was efficient in his all-around play. But Stan was the man again. He found PT for a 12-point lead with 240 to left to seal this game. And then, for good measure, hit a jumper of his own with an and one to follow to seal the deal. David Yoon for the villain scored 19 points and had four steals as he got hot late in the game hitting three threes in the back half. Kenneth Chen had a dozen rebounds, and Mike Louie, who went just one of ten from the field as he continues to struggle on the season, had seven boards and four dimes. But without Tony and without much scoring help outside of Yoon, it was too tall of a task to ask as it was too many Thomases.